Studio Ghibli has now been making films for more than 35 years, so it's somewhat surprising that not only did their films age really well, they actually have become more topical as time went on. Looking at these films decades after they were made, it's not hard to see how prescient writer and director Hayao Miyazaki was in how he predicted where our society was going, how our relation to nature and technology and our own mythology and spirituality is going to change over time. And even though he mainly had Japanese audiences in mind when making these films, he somehow managed to tap into where our global culture was going, so he's now able to resonate with audiences across the decades and throughout the globe. My Neighbor Totoro is the most beloved Ghibli film out there, but maybe because of this, it is also a bit underestimated. So when someone comes up to me and says, well, this is just a family film, very simplistic, made for children, I usually go off on a tangent and just list all the different perspectives and layers that this film has, which makes me very fun at parties. With Spirited Away, Miyazaki continues his efforts at creating fusion mythologies that incorporate things from traditional Japanese Shinto and Buddhist mythologies and all the things that are coming into Japan through the West. Howl's Moving Castle is one of the more unusual Miyazaki structures. He flips his own script. He doesn't make a coming-of-age film. It's more of a people-who-should-have-come-of-age film. Essentially, it's about people who should be adults by now, but who, for whatever reason, aren't yet and aren't ready to step into that role. Really, none of the films by Studio Ghibli that we're screening this year are as topical as Princess Mononoke. Princess Mononoke asks what's at stake when we pursue progress without caring for anything or anyone else.